Is Splinter the worst dad in comics? NECA Splinter from the Mirage comic line. Stellar new artwork from Kevin Eastman. Of course, the back has those comic-style panels showing off some of the other figures. Splinter is number eight officially in the series. And here's all the fine folks who worked on this. Nice. Get him out of the package without further ado. Nice standard backdrop. Here's his cane painted good. Looks like wood. Splinter himself. He's a short little stout boy. He's got the cloth goods, cape, the ribbon, the arms up and down as much as you want. I'm not going to take the robe off, but you know the drill. Single jointed elbows. He's got kind of like an E.T. body. Creeps me out. The hands. Pretty normal hinge there. He's got the big rat claw hands. Pretty sweet. The legs. People have pointed out the legs are weird. Again, they're like E.T. ham bone legs, single jointed knees, the leg, it moves in and out, the foot, the standard rocker thing, you know the drill, pretty cool. The tail, the tail has movement in and of itself, and then of course it's the wired rubbery tail, so you can pose it all sorts of ways. The head movement, also pretty good, he's looking up, down, all around. Some mouth movement would have been cool, but I don't mind. I like his big buck teeth. Here's his Utram buddy, the hand reaching out in fear. He's just an anxious little guy. Let him spin around back there as we check out the teapot. Nice detailing on this, and the handle actually works. Our little rat needs a little cup to drink the tea, so there it is. He's got more accessories. This one they did the double tray, so they're slowly getting away from the ties. We can hope. This awesome TCRI mutagen canister. So cool. One of the funnest accessories they've ever done, I think. The colors, it's great. Here's the mouser. It's kind of like a reused cartoon mouser with the comic painting. Got the mouth. You can kind of do that comic cover. Pretty nice articulation on the legs. You can do all sorts of whimsical poses with him as he's bending to and fro. Love it. We got our little pre-mutation splinter throwing up the paw, high paw. Great paint and sculpt on this little guy. Let them spin around in the background because we're going to check out the baby turtles. Look at them. Look at them all cute there, pre-mutation turtles. Lots of cool little paint and sculpt on these guys as well. They're tiny, but they packed it all in there. And then Splinter, he's got the two I'm um, number one bitch's hand. He's got two grabby hands. The mouser can eat the turtles. Splinter can't let him be turtle nuggets, so he leaps into action to save them. But eventually he just kind of gives up and he's like, I'll have some tea, I do declare. Everybody loves tea. It's always tea time. Comparing him to Toon Splinter, you can see this really is just a tiny little Splinter boy. Here he is having a talk with Leonardo, giving him the birds and the bees maybe. And him and Rokusaki having a nice little talk themselves. Splinter has tea, Shredder has a beer or a bomb, who knows. Then we have where it all began, the turtles getting mutated. Who's that cheeky turtle in the teapot? How about Splinter fighting off a mouser to protect his Utron buddy? All in all, this is a super fun figure, totally worth it for the price, even though he's a little guy. He comes with so much cool things, he can do so many cool scenes, and as a comic fan, he's obviously a must-have. But I gotta wonder, 